Hi everyone, today we're gonna talk about my new camera uh, GoPro HD4 Silver Edition. I bought it last week, uh, no, I think this week, and I received it just yesterday. So um, I did my unboxing yesterday. Sorry guys, I didn't film it. But however, I put everything back in the box. So we're gonna go through and see what is inside, what you get. Also, by the way, I was thinking to buy the new one, uh, which has cost about 300 quid. 300 pounds, because I'm in UK. Uh, so I don't know how much in dollars, maybe $350, $400 in America. Um, but I went to different options to save some money. Um, I bought a refurbished one which is uh, you get everything in, in your kit what is supposed to be in that box um, brand, also brand new battery all brand new accessories only the cameras is refurbished uh, I paid 199 pounds so again in the dollars um, I don't know maybe 300 dollars maybe 250 whatever just check um yeah by the way i got 12 month warranty as well so i thought you know it saves me 100 quid which is still a lot of money because you need to still buy some few accessories maybe um more batteries battery chargers uh, memory cards maybe you know some straps like chest strap or maybe head strap whatever you want to do where you want to uh, film yeah so uh, the box looks like that it's not like you see uh, the plastic bit on top and the camera sits on top so you just get like this but well, it's okay for me it doesn't bother so let's go have a look and crack on see what we've got in there so I'm gonna uh, unpack with one hand because uh, with the other hand I'm filming so it's gonna be a bit pain in us but I'm sure I can do it so basically yeah this is how it looks the Furbish GoPro camera. Everything's packed nice and neatly. This is the camera sits inside in the middle of the box. Also bear in mind, I put already my memory card. I had it some 16 gig memory card. I put the batteries in. I've charged it yesterday, so all is done, all ready to go what we got in the box so basically everything uh, is what is in this box it's pretty much the it so you get you got one curved one uh, flat mounts quick release mounts which is you can put one on the helmet which is uh, I put my helmet on because I uh, drive motorcycle and I use my GoPro so this is how it looks like curved mountain and you fit in so it's pretty awesome this little white thing you get uh, this is basically you put when you, when you put this camera in a mounting you put in here so it stops from vibrating if let's say this mount hold is, is a bit loose but mine is fine okay uh, what else you get in this box so you get charger usb charger uh, well i used to have my gopro hd2 camera so it used to be longer cable so now you get this short one so i mean these cameras they're really good um okay you get another quick release holder so this is the short one this is the curved one which is like i'm gonna show you where you can use it like again it's really handy on a motorcycle when you Put your mounting hole stick over there you you put it like that and you've mounted your camera like this so it's easy and then you get a three-way pivot arm which you can change directions stuff like that this is the back from the battery which is already inside you get the door touch screen door which has got kind of soft back over there uh, then you get open door this is for better sound quality now it's not focusing focus camera ok 
Camo focus. Yeah. And then the other one, which is on already on a skeleton, is hard door for diving. Right. And the reason why I bought this, I could have. I was thinking to get the Hero Five, but Hero Five comes without skeleton so I was really worrying because you will drop your camera I promise you so once you drop you're gonna scratch it so I feel this one is better protection um, also when you dive for example if you dive in if you like diving this is uh, can go up to 40 meters under the water and that uh, Hero 5 can go only 10 meters uh, under the water so also um, Hero 5 is, is, is obviously more expensive and um, and uh, what well, the good future is has is, has a touch screen well this Hero 4 silver edition has a touch screen as well that's why I choose this one not the Hero black one so I think still um, at the moment probably the best GoPro HD camera is number four for silver edition because uh, it's got better protection it's nice and tiny and uh, it, it does film as well on 4k 1080 frames per second it's got lots of features and stuff like that uh, so I think the fifth the it's a bit pointless to buy the fifth series of GoPro because this is still good up-to-date camera and, and offers the same stuff what is Hero 5 so um, I don't know so anyway um, this is where you put the battery in I'll show you got a tiny battery it's really not easy to take out with one hand but you got like here we go you got a little like a uh, thingy which is you can pull and uh, helps you to take out much more easier so yeah this is cool the battery is just, it's not really expensive so I will consider buy a bit more batteries right this is where you put your all your your memory card which is i've done already I formatted it and um, you got like usb here hdmi uh, connections in here come on man focus right yeah so if you like do vlogging there's a i've seen a microphone with this hdmi uh, plug on eBay uh, which is very handy so for example if you do vlogging uh, while you ride a motorcycle uh, I've seen some people that does that so it's easy to put a microphone but all you need to do obviously I've seen uh, you need to change the skeleton I've seen the skeletons on eBay which is has a hole in here so you need to remove camera from skeleton and uh, plug in your old cables so which is handy so I might consider to buy another case as well but yeah it's, it's awesome um, one tip I would like to give you guys like when you buy a GoPro HD camera because I, I, I used to use a lot GoPro HD and, and uh, uh, the most things what is really annoying is like usually you get scratches on your on your this bit of the glass uh, so I presume in this camera because you have touch screen here you can get scratches in here so what I did you, you can buy on eBay uh, screen protectors so the same like you put on, on a phone screen protectors but what I did I had some old screen mobile phone protectors so which is I cut them to size and I fit you can see my finger marks here so you can see is is if you can see I don't know if you can see uh, so I fit it on the screen to protect my camera yeah here we go probably if you look the edges you probably can see it 
Come on. Well, my camera doesn't want to focus today. Uh, well, bear in mind, this is my mobile phone. I'm filming for my mobile phone because um, I can't film my GoPro HD with HD. This, uh, yeah. So another another film where I put I put on this screen as well on this lens, not screen. If you can see it. I've cut the size again. Alright, never mind. Okay, so let's turn it on the camera. Uh, this is the moment like yeah, everyone waits. I was so exciting yesterday. So I charge my battery. I turn it on. I'm really keen to get my hands on my camera, you know. And uh, yeah, this is the screen. This is the screen. It is quite useful future and um, this screen is very very good it's very sensitive it's very quick so you can press video so now you're filming i don't figure out yet how to use it properly uh, so i have to play a bit more with this mode single megapixels wide you can change the megapixels right seven megapixel wide five mega, yeah it's just it's just wicked the camera gopro is really wicked so um gopro hd 2 which is i used to have before is really awesome camera really good quality and um so I thought to myself uh, it's time to upgrade to something better so yeah for silver all the way so you can delete you can crop and just exit so let's delete that are you sure you want to delete yes delete yeah so I've, I've done myself a bit of research before buying this camera um, because I was thinking I was really keen to buy a Hero 5 but I'm glad I didn't buy that one um, there's a lot of videos uh, people which make uh, on YouTube and put uh, advising like do not buy a Hero 5 because it's not worth Hero 4 is still good so if you have Hero 4 it's, it's still good keep it don't go for fifth one so it's not nothing uh, nothing cool now at the, at the moment on the market in terms of the GoPro so um, I mean if you want small helmet camera I would suggest you probably go session uh, 5 so no not GoPro 5 but session which is small I think half of, almost a half of this size so yeah I'm really happy that I got silver one so yeah when you if you don't know how to format your memory card this is where you go into the bin you press all and says format you press in it will format your memory card so um, I had it 16 gig memory card lying in my drawer so I've used that one but at the moment I uh, ordered 64 gig memory card and uh, I'll wait for the cards so I can't wait to put it so it gives you more time to record so yeah the quality is still it's awesome it's I don't know it's just I'm speechless right um, so yeah guys um, if you have any questions about um, camera if you're not sure which one to buy if you want some save the money yeah uh, I hope I can help you answer your questions so just please ask me uh, and I'll be happy to answer to you and uh, thanks for watching my videos I'll see you later thanks bye